guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another update for the graveyard project pan. And as I'm sure you guys know at this point, but still just to make sure, this was started by Emily from Emily and Max and it is based around the end date is Halloween. So it's kind of spooky themed. We've got resurrection products, which are products that have been in a project before you didn't finish off then. So you want to keep working on, so you're resurrecting them. And then there is collecting cobwebs, which are just products that have been in your collection for a little bit too long and have not really been used uh, any time recently. So I have six products in here. I think most of us have six products in here. Um, and I have plants. <laughs> I know there's, there isn't too much that you can see of this guy, but uh, I... Uh, I have my own beauty space here and I just didn't actually add plants to it yet and normally I, I just love plants and, and yeah I, it, it, it was definitely missing so I've been adding a bunch of plants so I tried to put one kind of in my background right now I'm still I still need to work on this um, but yeah that's not what you guys are here for uh, makeup that's why you guys are here so starting off with my Maybelline shadow pencil in smoky black I've used this an additional 20, 30, 40, 40 times, uh, bringing me to a total of 93 uses at this point, and I've made a little bit of progress. It's definitely not going to be done by the end of this project. Uh, it's ridiculous how long this lasts me, but um, I've already explained this a bunch of times in other projects. But what I do is like I like move my finger over it and then I use it in kind of mostly the outer part of my eye um, to darken things up kind of as a base and then I whatever is left on my finger I kind of bring inwards a little bit as well but uh, yeah have been using this as an eyeshadow base for the last definitely two years probably more um, I think we're about halfway maybe uh, but yeah it, it's not like it's so part of my routine right now that I don't mind doing it. It's not per se something that I would go out and buy this to be able to keep doing that once I finish it off. But uh, I still have four more of these types of products in my collection. So by the time I turn 60, I'm sure they will all be done. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just wanted to kind of keep track of like my usage on that one specifically, just because it's very interesting to see how ridiculously long it takes me to get through that. Uh, next, I have my MAC lip gloss. This was from a limited edition. It's a lip gelée, actually not a lip gloss. And I have used this an additional 22 times. Yes, 22. That's not a lot actually for two months. Uh, total of 65. So as you can see last time it was 43. Now it was 22, so definitely a lot less. I have been gravitating towards my pink lip gloss a little bit more. Um, on top of things because it just worked better with my eye looks and things that I have been doing. I don't know why, I just wanted to things that to be a little bit more cool toned and this one is just like a well orangey corally base which is pretty sheer actually with a lot of gold and shimmer in here. I've noticed that the more I get to the bottom I feel like the density of the glitters is getting worse as well. And I'm saying worse because I've had times where I put this on and my lips were just golden shimmer as opposed to just the base with some like shimmer pieces throughout it. Uh, I think it settled too much or something and of course because it's standing up like this I guess the, the shimmer kind of settled at the bottom so I need to be careful that I uh, use it often enough while I'm keeping it standing like that. Uh, it kind of gave me Tin Man vibes but then Tin woman with golden shimmery lips. I have used this enough though to make a proper new mark. And I have hope that if I manage to up my usage a little bit over the next two months, that I will be able to finish this one off. I should be able to finish this one off, I hope. Uh, it's a chewy lip gloss though. They always last a little bit longer than you expect them to, so we'll see. But. Uh, yeah, we're making progress on it and my goal is at the very least to roll it out at the end of this year, which I think should not be too much of a problem. Then we have my black eyeshadow in this Lancome Quad, which clearly is a resurrection. I've been working on this for a really long time as well. And I've made some progress. 
I've used it, well, every time I do my eye makeup, basically, I use it as an eyeliner and I've used it an additional 33 times. I think I may not have always been taking this with me when I'm traveling because, like, this whole thing for just that little bit of eyeshadow. Uh, anyway, I'm at 66 uses right now. Is that true? No, 68. 86. 86 uses right now. Which means that I've used it a lot more in the last month as well. I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Anyway, I'm making slow but steady progress on this one because I'm mainly using it as an eyeliner, so it's not going overly quick. Now, I'm guessing that when we get into the darker months again, I might use it in my outer V a little bit more often again to smoke things up a little bit. I haven't really been doing that over the last couple of months because it's summertime and I don't want things to get too smoky at this point. I'm already working on a dark gray in my pendant palette that is making things a lot darker than sometimes maybe is the norm for summer looks, but I'm fine with that. I've been doing that for a really long time at this point, but uh, yeah. I, I doubt I will be able to finish this one off in two months, but let's see how far we can get. It's still interesting to try. And I really hope that I can at least finish that by the end of the year as well. Then, very interesting one here. My Jelly Pong Pong uh, lip stain, whatever is this, it's a lip blush. I have not used this over the last two months. I've been very focused on finishing off lipstick, which I did manage to do finally just this week. So this is going to be my new like bright lipstick to focus on. But it is a bright red, which means that I will not always feel like wearing it. So I'm kind of going to have to play around with that a little bit, um, see what I want to do. I'm also planning to kind of focus in on a specific eyeshadow over the next month, which might not go with this one as well. So we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. Um, no uses. I did use it once <laughs> before, so I'm at one use for this guy. Then we have the Sleek Storm Palette, and in here, I have no idea what the name of the shade is, but I am working on this shade right here in my brows, and I was just kind of curious how much progress I can make on this. I think I just hit the tiniest bit of pan in it before I rolled it into this project, pretty certain. And I've used an additional, what is it, 39, 10, 20, yeah, 39 times since last time, bring me to a total of 86 as well. And I really see the pen expanding quite a bit. I wasn't expecting to make as much progress as I have over the last couple of months. Um, definitely won't have this finished in two months from now, but that was not my goal anyway. I just wanted to see how much progress I would make on it, and this is my the color that I use in my brows at the moment, so I'm using this very regularly. Anyway, and then lastly we have my e.l.f. bronzed blush. It's not really a blush, I would use this as a bronzer. And I'm saying would because I still not use this because I'm still trying to hit pan on the bronzer in my Sephora palette, which I thought I would have done like in the first month or so of this project, so that would have given me plenty of time to still work on this guy and see if I could hit pan on this one. But I haven't used it, because I'm still working on that other bronzer. Which is fine, I can only work on so many things at the same time anyway, but it's a bit of a shame for the sake of this project, because of course if I am putting stuff in a project, especially if it's only six products, I would hope to actually use them a little bit. But hopefully I will hit pan on that Sephora shade and I can at least get some uses in on this guy as well before uh, this project is over in two months from now. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, <laughs> nothing for this one. So my hopes for next time, because those were my six products, is that I can at the very least finish off this lip gloss. I think that is most likely to be done in two months from now. Um, in an ideal world, <laughs> I would be able to finish off this guy as well, but it is a very right, like primary red type of shade. So let's see, maybe when the when the months get shorter, when the days get shorter, I should say, uh, when it's a bit more dark, when like I'm more in my fall mood, warmer shades, this actually would make sense. We'll see. And then in a very, very ideal world, I would be able to finish off this black shade as well in two months from now, but. 
I very much doubt it. Apart from that, I'm just going to keep working on the products that are in here and we'll see what we can do. And that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.